Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to press the like and subscribe button below. Today, I'll be covering the second portion of my uh, diabetes quiz questions. The first portion was the first 10 questions. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to watch the video. If you have, let's just jump into this one. So we're gonna start on number 11. So the question is, you're caring for a diabetic patient who's developing a diabetic ketoacidosis. Which task delegation is most appropriate? One, ask the unit clerk to page the physician to come to the unit. Two, ask the LPN to administer IV push insulin according to the sliding scale. Three, ask the UAP to hang a new bag of normal saline. Or four, ask the UAP to get the patient a cup of orange juice. And I'll give you guys a moment to think about your answer. And the correct answer, guys, is number one. What's most appropriate, this patient's going through diabetic ketoacidosis, you're going to call, you're going to ask the clerk, excuse me, to go ahead and call the physician so you can get orders. And I want to explain to you why the other answers are incorrect. So your second choice was ask the LPN to do um, IV push. If you guys have not watched my priority and delegation video yet, I strongly urge you to do so. I'd say about 70 to 75% of NCLEX is based on priority and delegation as well as a concept material. So this is something you guys have to know and it's gonna be on your exams as well. So if you're having a hard time with priority or delegation or you just kinda of need a refresher, please be sure to watch that video. So anyway, number two, LPNs cannot do IV pushes, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely not, okay? LPNs, they can give routine meds. They can do IVs, some states, they have to be IV certified, but most states, they can do IVs, regular um, IV administration, but never pushes, okay? That, uh, LPNs can't do pushes. LPNs can't do um, blood transfusions. I, the list can go on. Make sure you watch my um, video on priority delegation. So number three, ask the UAP to hang a new bag of normal saline. Absolutely not. CNAs cannot hang bag cnas can't do iv infusion or iv therapy and number four ask the uap to get the patient a cup of orange juice no this patient's going through diabetic ketoacidosis that means that their blood sugar is so high right it's so high the body's now burning off the patient's own fat Okay, the byproduct of that fat breakdown is the ketones, which is, and by the way, guys, ketones are what? Acidotic, and that's what's making the patient go, go through diabetic ketoacidosis. So the last thing you wanna do is give the patient anything that has glucose, okay? So the correct answer is to call the physician. Number 12, you're serving as a preceptor to a nurse who recently graduated and passed the RN licensure examination. The new nurse has only been on the unit for two days. Which patient should you assign to the new nurse? And your choices are one, a 68-year-old with diabetes who's showing signs of hyperglycemia. Two, a 58-year-old with diabetes who has cellulitis of the left ankle. Three, a 49-year-old with diabetes who just returned from post-anesthesia care unit after below-the-knee amputation. Or four, a 72-year-old with diabetes with DKA who is receiving IV insulin. And I'll give you guys a moment to think about your answer. And the correct answer, guys, is number two, the 58-year-old with diabetes who has cellulitis of the left ankle. And let me tell you guys why. Anytime a nurse is a brand new nurse, they just got their license, they're inexperienced. Anytime you guys get a question about a nursing student, right? Or anytime you guys get a question about an RN who's been an RN forever and a day, but they're new to your unit, right? In those three situations, you're going to treat those um, uh, nurses like LPNs, which means you're gonna give them the most stable patient. So if it's someone that's an RN, but they don't have experience on your floor, you're gonna treat them like an LPN, which means you're gonna give them the most stable, stable patient. If it's a brand new nurse 
who just got licensed, you're going to treat them like an LPN and give them the most stable uh, patient, excuse me. Or if, so I gave you the nurse to transfer to your unit, the brand new nurse or student nurse. If you have a student nurse, you're going to give them the most stable patient. And in the situation, the patient that's diabetic that has cellulitis of the left ankle, that's the most stable. Let's look at our other choices. You have one, the 68 year old with diabetes who's showing signs of hyperglycemia. Well, that showing signs of hyperglycemia, is that patient stable? No, absolutely not. Let's move on to number three, the 49 year old with diabetes who just returned from PACU? No, that's a post-op patient. Do you know how much in-depth assessment goes for that type of patient? They're not stable. So you throw that out. And then you have number four, the 72-year-old with diabetes with <gasps> DKA. That is a medical emergency, guys. That is definitely not a stable per patient. So the most stable patient, obviously, in this clinical picture is your number two. So let's move on.